Hey, Hans here from Scale by Tech, and I just finished a news article from YouTube Automation. What that means is that we can now automate the generation of news articles based on a YouTube channel. And I've made this as a self-deployable automation for the people who are on my ABC platform, paying customers. Um, and I wanted to, uh, to walk through this system because in my opinion, it is super powerful and can be resold, can be used for uh, own gains on your own site. So let's just take a look at um, what it does, because it, in my opinion, is super, super cool. Um, inside the uh, community, the people who have access to the ABC platform, they can come in here and they can fill out this form here with all the information that is needed. There is uh, 13 points here. Um, one of them is uh, we need some API keys, some a lot of keys, some datasheet IDs, um, the category name and ID in WordPress, the author name and author ID, the actual word like WordPress root domain, so the site, and some credentials for getting into the site. And then we need a YouTube channel. Let's uh, go take a look at a YouTube channel for like for uh, scale by tech. A guy like Matt Wolf would be a good uh, candidate for a um, news channel because he talks a lot about AI, no code tech, and it's often in news related style. So his videos include, this is the new X, Y, and C. Uh, they just did so-and-so over at open uh, AI. So, Matt Wolf, for example, it could also be um, CNN or another news channel, but just a channel that regularly uploads newsworthy videos with this is the newest stuff. Those channels are very, very good. You can take any channel and then the AI and scripts will turn it into an article. But yeah, it makes more sense to pick news um, related channels. Let's just uh, imagine, uh, let's, let's take a look at how we actually deploy this. So inside uh, the account that we have here, we can go to custom templates. We can take news from YouTube. We can use template, deploy this. Let me move me into this account and click OK. From here, we get our little data sheet ID, which I'm going to use. And um, on the back end, I'll be uh, deploying this so I don't show you all my API key. Um, but anyways, you would be filling out all this information, um, taking the ID from uh, the channel here, it needs to be converted into a channel ID. This is a name, channel name. We need the underlying YouTube ID. Anyways, technical stuff. So. Here we have our make account. Um, we're using boost space uh, in this instance, but it is a make account. At the moment, we only have two scenarios, which is our mid journey um, automation. Let's take a look at the webhooks. We only have two webhooks as well. So if I were to fill out this form and deploy the automation, I'll just do that on the back end, do this. So I'm just simulating that I filled out the form with all the information. So that that I, it will now start to deploy all the automations into our system. So if I reload here, we now have six new scripts and they are turning on. You can see the two last one are not turned on yet. So if I refresh once again, they are now turned on and it even created a neat little folder over here. So everything is organized and it added the YouTube ID as uh, to the folder name created these six scripts that are needed. So it's pulling in the, the YouTube channel here, you can see from an RSS feed and processing this, generating the news article um, and generating images. This is actually a um, cool little feature that if there are multiple news stories inside one video, it will actually split up 
those news articles into multiple articles. A lot, for example, Matt Wolfe, he would often be talking about two to maybe up to five different news stories in one video. So instead of trying to mash all the stories into one, we have AI to split up the transcript into the different stories. And then we process each story by creating a news article, uh, the written article, and creating images. Let's just um, see at the webhooks. You can see we also created four uh, new webhooks that we need, all with the uh, channel ID in here, so we can see where everything is connected. Everything is turned on. The scenarios are hooked to the correct accounts. So this starts from now, um, and he's probably not going to publish a video now. So I'll just right click here and say, choose where to start. And let's select the first RSS feed and let's go to AI news, best source and click run once. And you can see that it's now going to run all this, get the video, do the split. We can uh, take a look in this JSON, um, parse JSON node, whether it has been split into multiple articles or it's just one article in this video. Um, that is for the AI to decide. Let's uh, over here, it will then populate all one article, one news article per record. Let's just go here. There we go. We actually have oh seven <laughs> news stories. He's uh, going at it. So meta releases Lama 3. Now it says Grok 1.5, Stable Diffusion 3 unveiled, Adobe Showcases Revolutionary. Like, there's a lot of new stories in here. Seven of them in total. And you can see then it's running through. Let's go back to here. It's now starting to add these records, creating the article, meta, author, and so forth. I'm using my um, homosi.blog as a test for this video shouldn't like um, Wolf, Matt Wolf's uh, videos or news stories, this news creation should not be published to the Homosi blog. This is just a test. So please uh, don't mind that. Anyways, we are now getting all, I think it was seven stories in here. Let's take a look at the article, pop that up, go away. So Meta just released Llama 3. You can see then we have a new story here um, and we have this alt placeholder text, which means that we're going to generate one featured image and we're going to generate one alt image um, through mid journey. And you might be like, hey, but you can't generate images on mid journey through API or other programs than Discord. Yeah, you can because you can go for unofficial APIs such as Go API. So if you go to goapi.ai, you can actually start generating images through their unofficial API. So you can see here that we're now generating images and we're also upscaling images. Um, and these will be processed and through all our scripts, let's just go, is this done? No, it's not done. We can go here. Through the other scripts, it will then um, pick up or it will receive information once the image has been processed in mid-journey. It will then take the two first images. We always get four images back from mid-journey. It will take two of them and upscale them. Once they are upscaled, a new message will be sent back to our scripts, which will then upload the images to our new story here. So once these ones start to upscale and are finished. It will be the top one here. Um, so staged, which means it is waiting. Um, I don't have the largest account, so it will take a while. I just pause the video while these are processing. There we go. Now it should start to uh, process some of the upscaling images. Let's go back. Here, now we can see we're starting to populate our images. So we have data center thingy. So it will be two of the same images. Stable diffusion, nice looking image. 
Um, and you can have like, just go into the image prompt and change how um, you would like to prompt uh, mid journey, of course, to get other prompts or other images. Um, so that would be, no, that is actually in the first one, I think. I can't even remember. Yeah. So here we have the image prompt writer, which will try and output something good for a news article. Um, anyways, discard changes. That is how the script works in generating the news articles. Then it will run, come on, at the moment it's set to 250, which is about four times a day. The same is done for the last script, number six. This is also set at 250. So it will upload one article um, or four articles per day. And once it will go check our database here, once it's uh, stated as image generated, it can pull that record in and switch it over to upload it once done. So if we run this script a single time, it should pick the first one in, uh, in the list here. It is uh, sorted by created date. So it will always, always take the latest that has been generated and are ready and upload that. So if you go over to our WordPress instance, upload here or refresh, we can now see that we have meta releases Llama 3. Let's click on view this post and there we have it. This is now posted to the blog, fully automatic. Like I know I, I clicked like run once, but you get the idea that everything here will run automatically just from filling out this form, clicking submit. And if you enter the correct information, you'll have up to four news articles on your blog each day without lifting a finger. And the smart cookie here would then think, hmm, couldn't I just add multiple like if a channel doesn't post that often, then I could probably add multiple channels. Correct, you could. Or you could sell this as a service to other businesses or other people who have sites where they would like to have a news feed, but don't want to manage it. This is like, you would only need a login to their WordPress site to get uh, the different information here or have them fill out a form. So you create a video for them saying, hey, I need this, this, and this information. Please send that and which YouTube channel you would like to uh, get curated or you pick for the client. Like there's a lot of different ways. And you could set up this on your system automatically for 10, 20, 100 different clients without ever touching it again. You only need to turn it off if the uh, client leaves or tells you to. Like there's a lot that could be done with a system like this. And I really like the fact that it is 100% automatic and fingers off. So as long as Matt Wolf continues to produce videos, I will keep getting news articles for my site. So I hope this has been uh, an informative video on uh, some of the cool stuff that we got going on. Um, if you want access to this script, then follow the link in the description. And um, yeah, we also, you also get a full blogging system at the moment. This is on version 0.5, 2.1, 2.5 is the agency version. You also get full mid journey automation. So we actually have here, let me see. So if you use mid journey a lot, you can start creating a lot of images without being in mid journey. So you can just uh, go here and create a lot of images. So yeah, as I said, if you want access, click the link. Um, this fully automated system, it's not for free. <laughs> um, this is um, like, can be, this can be exploited a lot by having this too open source. 
So this is um, closed for the pain community. But you could um, mimic what I'm doing here and set up your own YouTube automation uh, channel, news article, or whatever you want. Anyways, have a great day. Um, see you in the next video.